Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. So good news everybody, we did get the Edward's Kenway Legacy outfit a little bit earlier than we expected. And here's how you can claim it right now. What you need to do, you need to go into the Ubisoft Connect, their reward section of Valhalla and just claim it totally free. It is not costing anything, not units, not real money, not anything. Also, if you want the pop-up for that one, much faster, do it from the game. Don't do it from the website, don't do it from the application, do it straight from the game. That way the pop-up actually will be a little bit faster than from the application, for example. And look at this, I mean, come on, this outfit, it is amazing. So much details. I was expecting this outfit to become available 10th of September in Ubisoft Forward event. But I am so happy we already got it. Also... No, there is no Thanos armor pack, no Iron Man armor sets in Helix Store whatsoever. But Reda's weekly selection, it was pretty good. I mean, it was surprisingly good. So, the outfit, it can be upgraded, but the look won't change. You are just getting more rune slots and the Divine Landing if you own the Dawn of Ragnarok. So you are getting the Divine Landing if you upgrade this to Divine Quality. Although this weekly reset was pretty awesome, one question remains in my mind, when we are gonna see Ezio's Revelation outfit, I really want to hear your opinions, so let me know in the comment section down below when you think we are gonna see Ezio's Revelation outfit. I think we actually might hear something in Ubisoft Forward event, so remember, collect this outfit through the Ubisoft Connect from the game, not from the applications. So, at least for me, I'm definitely gonna use Edward's Kenway Legacy outfit so much in my gameplay from now on. I mean, yeah, I think this is one of the greatest so far. At this point I really would appreciate your like, that way you can actually help me to get these videos out for more people and also to help me improve my channel. So let's move on to the Reda selection of this week, 6th of September 2022 and boom here we go, the daily banger, mystical brazers, two set bonus emit a poison cloud after 10 consecutive hits. On poisoned enemy and the fast bonus, additional increase to poison buildup and poison damage. Definitely, if nothing else, full set for poison users. Our first and gladly only decoration thing in the whole weekly sacrificial totem. Our only weapon from the weeklies, God's Ire, Divine Light Shield. The perk for this one, increase stun after a block. This shield, it is from the Tannerish pack. Our third weekly item, it is gonna be Jormungandr helmet. For 120 opals, increased damage taken by 25%, increased melee damage when equipped by 65. Also, 5 set bonus, additional increase to attack when equipped. We are gonna take a closer look of the helmets and of the cloak. And speaking about the cloaks, high elf hood for 120 opals, divine cloak. It is our fourth weekly. 2 set bonus increased range damage when equipped. Bonus is removed when receiving damage, and the 5 set perk. Additional increase to melee damage. Second last item, Carolingian pants, 100 opals, 2 set bonus at low health, getting hit, temporarily increased armor, and the 5 set bonus when high life, hits have a chance of increased attack. Let's move on to our last item from the vehicles, Holy Knight helmet, the blessed version, perks for this armor set, 2 set perk increased health when equipped, and the 5 set bonus you are baited. In holy light, reducing damage you receive by 15%. It is time to take a closer look of the highlights from this week. So let's go. For the high elf, 2 set perk, cooldown 25 seconds and the bonus plus 25 range damage. Also the 5 set bonus plus 25 melee damage. Moving on to our next item, the Jormungandr helmet. Like I said, 65 melee damage for 2 set and plus 10 attack from the full 5 set bonus. I really think the 2 set perk it is worth it, but full 5 set bonus it is not worth it. Either way, this helmet looks so cool. But the Holy Knight, it looks even more awesome. The 2 set bonus plus 15 health and description of this helmet it is pretty funny in my opinion at least. 
Wearing this helmet on the battlefield is clear statement of one's focus on style over survival. <laughs> that really did crack me up. So that was everything from this week. Hopefully you did enjoy. Huge shout out to my channel members aka the Elite Wolfpack. You guys are awesome. But for now let's roll the outro. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong. Hope to see you in the next one. Skatha, over and up and bye bye.